uh, first of all, we need to start with the carbon price levels of today, right? So the, pri the prices we see today um, have risen until like 40, 50 euros um, per ton. And I think that's the, that has uh, increased quite significantly over the COVID period um, in, the, in the last year. What we see going forward is that if we want to use this mechanism of the, Euro, the carbon um, ETS system, uh, then definitely we'll have to go to prices like 400 euros per top. And uh, the question is whether this is acceptable um, because then you basically shift the whole transition burden, financial burden to the industry, right? Um, in the end, the question is who who needs to pay for this transition? Is it going to be the B2C customer, um, so the, the normal person in the street, or is it going to be the industry? And in what way are we going to balance kind of the burden uh, between, between the two? So that's a question. So whether it's tax, uh, let's say corporate tax, or whether it's carbon tax, or whether it's other taxes, mechanism, the mechanisms that we need to, uh, to install anyway, the, the transition needs to be paid. Um, what we see, however, is that um, the European Union starts um, to realize that there's going to be a competition distortion coming in um, from this financial burden. Um, and we now see compensating mechanisms being introduced to actually allow certain industries um, to, to receive support to compensate the taxes for CO2. So the question is, what is then the best measure to take? Um, and definitely there is still a debate to have on how to go forward with this.